Hey y'all, what's going on with you today? We gonna get right into it. See, the spirit wants you to know your higher self, your divine masculine, higher self, or 3D self. What do they want you to know? Okay, take what resonates for you. Forgiveness, it's time to forgive y'all. Forgiveness, stop focusing your energy on past events. For life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. Somebody thinking about you right now. The stars is literally aligned for you. Somebody heart chakra open and on fire. Okay? This masculine is fully awake. This masculine is in a protective energy. They they understand you better now. I feel like their third eye is awakening. This, this masculine wants to protect you. Big earth angel energy. Time to forgive yourself and forgive others. Okay? What else? Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Heavy on the earth angel energy. Heavy on them stepping up and standing in their, their purpose. Heavy on them having faith. Look, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Yeah, look, y'all, heavy on the earth, angel. You got ancestors that's guiding you, watching you, helping you. <coughs> your higher self is activated. Your divine masculine higher self is activated. Excuse me. And you know what's crazy? It's like letting go of the superficial way of life. Too focused on letting go of focusing so hard on materialistic things, things that you cannot take with you. Mm, it's time to be more playful. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. This person wants to connect with you. Accept, acceptance is key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point in trying to change what, which is out of our control. Give me one more spirit. Oh, freedom. Y'all, this card came out in the last reading. Okay, somebody is free. Y'all are free to be. Okay, we got freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Heavy on the Ten of Cups energy. Hold on. Boom. Mmm. <laughs> My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. You guys are in full alignment with each other. I'm going to be honest. Spirit said, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives, okay? So don't, don't get too obsessive. Give this person some space. Allow the healing to happen. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed at this very moment. And find something that's going to make you laugh, that's going to make you happy. You can start being happy right now. You can find things that make you happy, even if there's things going on in your personal life that doesn't make you feel so happy, even if you don't really like your job right now, even if your home situation is not as, you know, happy as you would like it to be. Um... Find stuff that's going to make you happy. Go to the movies. Turn on some some videos. Do You know what I'm saying? Uh, listen to some comedy shows, some comedy skits. Watch some funny skits and stuff like that. Um, do something that's just going to make you happy and have a good time, especially this weekend, all right? This person is thinking about you. Though, what, though we may be physically apart, spiritually, we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing, my beloved. Okay. Yeah, somebody is trying to avoid conflict. They've been going through something. They want to resolve conflict. They're apologetic for creating conflict within y'all union. Two of cups to the five of wands. Okay. Especially with this forgiveness card. What is this forgiveness? Forgiveness, remember, forgiveness is first you have to forgive yourself 
and you forgive others even if they're not sorry. But this person is very apologetic, okay? But even even the other people that did you wrong outside of your connection, because there was a lot of external forces, whether they were going up against your connection or just going up against you or your person, period, um, you it's time to forgive them too as well and let go. You don't have to for, you don't have to forget. They're not saying forget, but it's it's letting go of that energy. Forgiveness is um giving you the freedom to let go of what hurts you. It no longer gives people, places and things the power. Some people think that not forgiving is, you know, um is holding on to your power. It's actually the opposite. Not forgiving is giving the opposite person the power because now they still have something over you. They can still trigger you. They can upset you. But them not even being able to upset you, even if they did something extremely horrible, and for you to not be able to get super upset, now you may not want to fuck with them or you may not want them around, but for you, each time that you do think about it, not to get as upset as you used to get, that is healing. That is learning to forgive. Forgive as many times as you got to, even about the same thing, until you feel light and free from it. But with this connection, um, Spirit is saying, stop focusing your energy on past events, for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So right now, you're trying to imagine, dream, and think about positive things. If past things are coming up, it's coming up so that you can forgive and so that you can let go and so that you can release it. And if you don't know how, if it's still coming up, say to yourself, I remove any intrusive thoughts. Ask spirit. Ask your spirit team, the universe. Everybody doesn't have a spirit team because everybody didn't call in a spirit team. But <clears throat> for those who do, and some people are soulless as well. So, um, for those who do, call in your spirit team, okay? Ask the universe to help you forgive, okay? What's this forgiveness? <clears throat> What's this forgiveness? Somebody throw chakra activate injustice. Yes, yes. Heavy on a Libra, I just seen temperance. Oh, the star. Heavy on Aquarius. What else? The seven of pentacles. Somebody wants to heal this. They're wanting to, they want forgiveness. They recognize the truth about things. There's some type of clarity that came to this person, um, to this situation. Excuse me. This could be a legal situation. Somebody could be under some type of legal court situation and it's going in their favor. Um, but they're still needing to heal from it or they're needing to invest in, in a good lawyer. Um, for some people, this person has invested into their healing they want to invest into healing this connection. They recognize the truth about this connection. They feel safe in like in your hands. Like at one point they felt like you had them wrapped around their fingers and they didn't like that. They like, uh uh, I'm I'm in control of me. <laughs> like, but the whole time they felt like you had control or power over them and now they're ready to surrender to this energy. They recognize and this is a safe environment. It's okay to surrender to this connection. It's okay because you're going to allow this person to feel free. If you're the feminine in this connection, you allow this person to be the masculine, to be strong, to be brave. But it's also like vice versa as well. Like you submit to them and they submit to you as well in different ways, you know? It's like that energy. And I feel like this person is recognizing the softness that's in you and wanting to surrender to that, wanting to protect you, wanting to be a bundle you, wanting to chill on the couch with you, watch TV, watch movies. Y'all got favorite net Netflix shows together and stuff like that. Like, it's, it's like, <laughs> this is your justice season. This is when balance is being restored in your connection, okay? This person wants to communicate with you. Yeah, they want to communicate with you right now under this full moon energy. This person could be ready to come towards you, come see you. They're feeling very generous now, like, with their energy towards you, where they was closed off. I feel like this full moon has, like, shaken their emotions. They have so many emotions, but it's more healed than what it was before because I feel like it was all over the place before. But now it's, like, more balanced, more grounded. 
because they're free. This person wants to be connected to you. They want to be up under you. Somebody could be definitely a Libra or a Pisces or Aquarius. Heavy on the air sign out here. What's this freedom? Ooh, two of cups to the will. Ooh, that's major freedom. Ooh, king of cups. Yeah. <laughs> Two of Cups to the King of Cups, heavy on a soulmate, twin flame energy, okay? Things are now turning in your favor unexpectedly. This is a major turn of events. Justice, star, moon, will. This is a major turn of events that's bringing y'all direct and direct alignment with each other. This is an inevitable change. This is happening regardless. Spirit, like, literally at one point had to maybe grip Divine Masculine up by the collar and drag them to the car. Like, get, if you don't get your ass in the car. <laughs> yeah, somebody ancestors has not been playing, been whipping this Divine Masculine into shape. And now I'm telling you, they want to surrender because, like I said, you make this person feel like they can. They can feel vulnerable around you. But also, you make them feel like the man. like, And you don't make them feel like they're weak when they are being vulnerable with you. You still make them feel strong. Like, you always help this person get up when they're down. Like, you're, you're going to be the person to them that always be there for them and vice versa. They've been waiting for somebody like you. They've been, they prayed for somebody like you, but they were too scared. To be that version of themselves. They had like they were asking for something. But they, they had to become what they wanted. And now they have become that. They wanted somebody that they could trust. They had to become trustworthy. They had to be real with themselves. They had to take the mask off. And the thing is they were afraid that when they take that mask off. You wouldn't like who they actually are. You wouldn't like the vulnerable side. You wouldn't like, you would hurt them. You would kick them while they down. They, like, they were afraid of that from you, and you had too much power. Like, you, they felt like you had them by the balls, like, and they didn't want nobody to have that much power over them. And so they ran. They tried to bring you down a couple pegs. They, they didn't want you to have that power or control over them. But now that they see that that power is actually beautiful, and that they they got a power too like that. Like y'all both have that kind of effect on each other. Like I feel like this person wants to create a safe space for you. And you have created a safe space for this person. This person admires you. You've mirrored to this person your true authentic self. And for them to be in love with their true authentic self. Like you love them flaws and all. You already seen past the, the crazy thing is you already have seen past the, um, the facade that they were putting up. You seen straight, like you seen straight through to them and they couldn't understand how, like, do this person see me? Like, do they see who I really am? Like, if I show this person who I really am, they going, they not going to like me. And it's like, so to avoid for you to cut them off, they cut you off first. And they feel like that was a big mistake. Because they forfeited their freedom. This relationship with y'all two will be free and happiness. And and I'm not saying that it will be perfect. But I'm going to be honest. This is like heaven on earth energy. A lot of, you know, intimacy. A lot of, like, learning each other. Teaching each other. Talking each other through it. Guiding each other. Mm-hmm. Kissing each other through it. Like letting each other know it's going to be okay. Oof. Child. Yeah. Heavy on the tower energy. <laughs> Heavy on the tower. What's going on? What else? Yeah, there's an inevitable change. This is a sudden epiphany. This is the path being cleared for y'all. For y'all marriage. For y'all union. Heavy on the hair front. Taurus energy. Whoa, when I say something major is happening this weekend, it's happening now. It's happening right now, okay? That's putting y'all in direct alignment. If there was a third-party energy, they are cutting people, places, and things off because they no longer want to waste time. They don't want anybody else to have you. They don't even want anybody else to have them. 
they're not giving affection and attention to whoever they were connected to or in attachment with is the difference. This person is about to reach out and communicate with you. They've been feeling some type of way for a long time. That might be what they say, like, I, I loved you for a long time, okay? But this person needs to make decisions based off their own feeling and not how anybody else is going to feel. Somebody was trying to guilt trip this person into staying into a marriage or a connection, and that shit is over and done with. They made the wrong decision, and it's time to take the ax out and chop off the head of the snake and move forward in a direction of where they truly want to be, where their heart truly desires. But they need to do it on their own accord. And this is why they had to separate from you as well, because they needed to make sure that they're making the right decision for them. This decision ain't have nothing to do with you or you trying to take them from somebody else. This decision was based off of how they have been treated, gaslit, lied to, manipulated by the people, places, and things that they were around. And they had to come to the understanding that you were never too good to be true. You were actually everything that they prayed for. <clears throat> yeah, there's endings happening, okay? Y'all, this connection is being protected. If there is a delay on, on the union, it was because you were being protected from whoever this dark entity that tried to keep themselves attached to your person or to you as well. Because they were stalking you as well. But reunion is happening regardless. It's victory, success, and it's reunion. And it's union is protected. Seven of wands, six of cups, six of wands. Reminiscing, thinking about you, thinking about the times that y'all shared. Also um, remembering past lives and stuff like that. A lot of these masculines can even um, astral travel. They travel to different dimensions. They're able to see past life, past versions of you guys different versions of you guys together like recognizing that it's the same energy that it's always been you you always been that person they just couldn't see it before but they see it now their vision like it was blurred but now that the veil is thin this person can see very clearly they want to make this a public announcement like, you my baby, they ain't afraid to show you off to the world. They don't care who's going to get mad. They're thinking back at why, they, why didn't I do this before? Why did I choose the other person? Like, But don't question yourself or beat yourself up too much because you made those decisions based off your um, vibration and your alignment, where you was at, which seemed more fun. They thought that, you know, the monogamous life would be so boring, but not knowing that they had somebody that is all of the above. You my babe, you my gift, you my all of the above. <laughs> like everything, you know, in one. Multiple women in one. That's why a lot of these masculines was players because they needed multiple things and they had to get it from multiple women because one woman couldn't add up or equal up. But because you are the empress, they didn't know that you were able to add up. You were just starting to cook. You were just learning to become all the different queens in one. And now that you're walking in that empress goddess energy, this person is like, what? They don't want nobody else to have you. They have having major epiphanies about all of this. They're wanting this, this will to turn in your favor. Good luck is on your side. Good fortune. This is your harvest season. This is when everything unfolds for y'all. And it's turning beautifully. You're right where you're supposed to be. It's no need to rush anything. You don't have to feel rushed or forced. No pressure. Let it unfold. But if you're feeling like it's time for you to take action, then maybe it's time for you to take action and you will be victorious and successful. I feel like y'all have overcome so many different obstacles. Y'all seen each other in many different seasons, whether it was together or separate. And now y'all be able to enjoy the seasons together. Y'all will be able to start a family together, start a life with each other, create some, some people could want farms. Some people could want to start their own garden and stuff like that. Grow your own fruit, fruits and vegetables and just, you know, live comfortably, minding your own business happily. But like I said, spirit had to show you and reveal to you the people, places, and things that no longer serve you so you can move them out the way so that you can grow. You cannot grow in the same place that broke you. 
This person is free from toxic people, places, and things, and so are you. They're freeing themselves now. This person is needing to take time to themselves. This person is definitely wanting a hug. Like, they need a hug. <laughs> they's ready to reach out to you. They're a little drained. They didn't want to involve you in their mess. But they're needing some healing. The star card with the six of wands. Like, if you look at this card, like, this guy is ready to reach out to her. But he's very pale. He's very drained. This person is ready to come in for some healing. And the stars is literally aligned for y'all. Where that card at? Look, the star and the stars literally are aligned. I can't make this up. You also, you could be seeing so many synchronicities. This is happening during justice season for some of you. This is about to happen right now, okay? So just trust your intuition. Things are moving forward for you. It was a lot of lessons that was learned with the chariot and the world card. This person wants to take action towards you. They've been holding on to this connection. They're fighting for this connection. They're not willing to let this connection go. Okay, for some of you, three days, three weeks, something like that. There's something that's about to happen. What's going to happen in three days and three weeks, Spirit, real quick before we go? Okay, um, judgment is happening. Communication is happening. Um them seeing things from a different perspective and y'all coming unstuck. Y'all coming unstuck. Them finally um, taking action, ready to move, getting out of just sitting, watching, waiting into actually taking action. Spirit is actually bringing y'all together. Um, they feel like they want to share a home with you, that you will have a good home. You will take care of it. You will take care of them. You will take care of their children. They know that you're their twin flame. Um, I feel like they know that you're going to take care of them in every way. Um, that song, I want to love you in every kind of way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's about to go up for y'all, okay? Trust that they're watching. I'm talking about like a hawk. You could be seeing hawks and stuff like that. You could be seeing lizards and stuff like that. Um, that is a sign to trust your intuition, see things from a higher perspective. So even if you start to feel doubts, fears, and stuff like that, remember to pull back and try to look at it from a higher perspective that you guys had to learn certain lessons. This is why certain things had to happen and that things is unfolding beautifully for you and that your person is free from whatever um, shackled ties that kept this person bound into a toxic pattern. That pattern no longer exists. Those contracts is up, okay? And things are working out in your favor. So say a prayer for yourself and your person. Be kind and gentle to yourself and your person. Namaste.